Welcome back here to episode 12 of our Iron Man series. Now I can't believe it's already episode number 12, but thank you guys so much for the support so far. If you guys have been sticking around since episode 12, thank you so much. It's unbelievable. Now we got some big news in store for you today. Basically, we're going to be trying to grind for a new mithril pickaxe. We're trying to get a better pickaxe that's faster, stronger, and just... It's just much better. We're also be grinding for goblin gear. Now the goblin gear will also help us mine faster. So the whole goal here is to grind for goblin gear and access the forge so we can make ourselves a pickaxe. Now we have to hit heart of the mountain tier two to access the forge. So we're going to be doing that in the beginning of today's video. Now, before I get into that, I do want to mention that we're also doing this series with Zach Plays AN. His channel will be linked down below. He's also part of the island here, so definitely check him out. Exactly. So this goblin gear will definitely improve our mining speed. And that's the main thing we're after right now because we want to complete those commissions as fast as possible. And we also want to upgrade our powder collection because the more mining speed we have, the more powder we can collect. And the more we can upgrade our tree in the heart of the mountain. Let's go ahead, jump into today's episode and start grinding towards that new pickaxe and that new fresh armor. Okay, so we're just grinding some more commissions here. I was doing the ice walker from the previous episode so we actually got three glacite jewels now this actually be very helpful for the forge and apparently we can access the forge when we hit heart of the mountain number two so we'll try to see if we can hit that here with this commission there's a little tip i actually learned from that guy with memes he's on here he's another iron man profile he really helped us out already and the tip is that use your pickaxe guys if you're weak like me and your tool or your sword is not strong enough or your axe see it takes me a few hits to kill them i'll show you right here as an example see that it just it takes so long but if you take your pickaxe you can actually just shatter them in one shot takes one hit which is great and it just saved me so much time so i really appreciate that tip there okay so here we are right the king here and we're going to claim our commission this should bring us to level two of the heart of the mountain so let's try it right now heart of the mountain tier two we hit it guys but uh, let's upgrade our tier of the mountain quick and unlock some more stuff as of for now we actually unlocked the forge which is right behind us here there's the forge but the uh, NPC is just behind us here. We're going to head over there, talk to him, but we could actually craft ourselves another pickaxe. Exactly. So that's the reason why we needed a glassite here. And we each have three pieces. We're going to go ahead now and talk to the forager and start our forge. So apparently it takes around 30 minutes to complete this forge. So we're going to have to go ahead and start this now. And we can start doing some commissions while we wait. But it's up here. The forger is just up this pathway here. And we can go ahead and just talk to him and see what he offers us. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and view slot one and see what we can start here. So let's go ahead and click it. So it says here, refine your to more valuable materials we're going to refine our ore so we're going to refine our glass site jewel click on that and as you can see we got the bejeweled handle which is what we're going to need to craft that pickaxe and it requires three glass site jewels so we're just going to click on that's perfect 30 minute duration so we have to wait 30 minutes for this to be done i'll click on it right now and yeah we need those items refined and let's start it confirm and there you go all right as you can see it is being forged as we speak right now it's being refined and hopefully we'll pick this up in 29 minutes so the reason why we're making a bejeweled handle is because it is actually one of the recipes to create this mithril pickaxe so you can see if we go ahead and go back to the forger we click on an item casting you can see that we need the bejeweled handle as part of the recipe so you can see here it requires 30 enchanted mithril 10 enchanted gold and then the bejeweled handle so that's what we're making right now and once the 30 minutes are over we can go ahead and craft this new pickaxe which will definitely improve our mining speed while we wait those 30 minutes we're actually gonna go grind some gear we're actually gonna go and try to get the goblin gear i also heard that the goblin set is actually a good mining set so we're gonna go ahead and start grinding this goblin set it might take a bit it might take a while it depends on our luck here because the goblins do have a rare chance of dropping an armor piece so we're gonna go ahead and start grinding those goblins hopefully we do have some commissions that go towards this if not it may be a little bit of a waste of time at least we're gonna get some armor out of this wish us luck here and let's get started All right, I just want to mention that this is actually a crazy money-making method, honestly. Like, I already made 39,000 here just from killing a few goblins. It's actually unbelievable. It's a really good way of making money. Oh my gosh, guys, I just died. And I lost $21,000. That is not good for an Iron Man. That is not good. I think we just learned a lesson here for our uh, island. And that is to definitely head over to the bank when it's time to head over to the bank. Oh my gosh. All right, so I just got my first drop here. As you can see, I have the boots. It's a bit tough here. I don't want to die to these... Okay, that was a close call, but I've got the boots here. I'm going to start grinding for the other pieces and we'll cut back when I have the next part of the set. A 
A few moments later. All right, so while we're grinding these goblins, we actually got a message in chat here. And as you can see, that our bejeweled handle has finished. So we have to go ahead now, take this bejeweled handle, and convert this into the mithril pickaxe. So this also takes some time to forge. So we're going to go ahead and do this while we're grinding those goblins. And I do have to say, Zach, so much for 10 minute grind here for this set. We've been grinding for 30 minutes, as you can see, the proof here with this forge time. And I still only have the boots, as you can see. Only the boots, and I got a few eggs here. No other pieces. It took so long, guys. What is going on? This is taking 30 minutes plus. We're going to go ahead and claim this bejeweled handle. There we go. We have it now in our inventory. So that means we're going to have to go ahead now and start the next recipe. Click on an item cast this time. And let's see the recipe again for the mythical pickaxe. So we're going to need that 10 enchanted gold. All right, so we just quickly got the remaining materials we need. So we got the 30 enchanted mithril and the 10 enchanted gold, as you can see, part of the recipe. And now we're going to go ahead and just forge this together. So we have our bejeweled handle here as well. So let's go ahead and click on confirm and start this item process here on item forge. And there it is. It takes 44 minutes and 55 seconds. So we'll be back here in that time. And hopefully by then we'll have our completed goblin set. All right, so I just got my second piece here. As you can see, it is the chest plate, and that took such a long time. And we just realized a little bit why, and the reason why that took so long. And that's because of our magical finds. You can see here in chat, right now, our magical finds are only at 2%. And we realized that we had our tiger pet out, and the tiger pet does not give that much magical um, a, bo a boost. So the griffin pet actually gives you more magical find. So you can see right now, at the moment, if I hover over my profile, the magical find at the moment is at 7. And without this griffin pet, if we had our tiger pet back on here, you can see now that our magical find is only at 2. We were just grinding the whole time with this magical find at 2, and it took forever. So we hopefully have now a better increase of magical find and dropping armor sets. Alright, so it's been around, I believe, only like 3 minutes since we switched the pets. And I already have a helmet, so that definitely increased the speed and the drop chance here with this magical find increase. Um, you can see I have now the helmet the chest plate and the boots so all we need now are the leggings or the pants so let's hope we get that as soon as possible and i can help my brother grind the rest of his set the raffles again on again should we do it oh let's go Jeez, second one guys, oh my gosh. It actually leveled up my mining. It brought it right up to the next level. That's nice. All right, so as you can see, we are now standing at the forge again, and we actually have a full armor set the whole goblin set inside of our hotbar here and that's because we finished grinding the goblin set and it took quite some time it took long enough that our mineral pickaxe is actually completed so we're going to go ahead pick up the mineral pickaxe equip our set and then start enchanting all the pieces as well as our pickaxe but first thing first i want to show you guys what we all received here from grinding these goblins as you can see we have the full set we have two extra pieces here which is the golem helmet and the golem boots and we also have 13 golem eggs my brother also got some other loot and he's going to show you that right now. So if we take a look at my loot here, as you can see, I got two extra goblin helmets and leggings. So my brother already has extra boots as well. I have another set of boots actually on the island. And this means that we almost have a set completed for Zach. So Zach only needs a chest plate, so he might get that himself. It looks so good. Let's grab the pickaxe from the forge. Boom. There is the pickaxe. Click the claim. And we got ourselves the mithril pick. Wow. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and share this pick. We're going to put on fortune, experience, telekinesis, and efficiency. And we're going to cut back when we're done. Okay, so I have enchanted my pickaxe here, as you can see, has all the enchants on here, and we're standing at the blacksmith, and that is because we're going to go ahead and reforge our goblin set here. So we have the mana here, which is the intelligence, and our set is actually using our intelligence to increase our mining speed. So if you take a look at our set now, there's actually plus 10 mining speed on each piece, which means that we have now plus 40 mining speed. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and reforge this with Ys, so we have even more intelligence to increase our mining speed. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the bank, get some coins, and start reforging. Okay, and so here we are at the bank right now. The banker is over here, and guys, we've got a nice little surprise in here. We've worked up to 5.1 million coins, and that's just from grinding goblins and just putting our money into the bank instead of dying with it. We did die a few times, but we got 5.1 million. That's insane. So we're going to take out quite a bit here just because I don't want to run out when I'm over here reforging. There you go, guys. Withdrew 500,000k, and still look at that. We still have 4.6k in the bank. 
that's pretty awesome here. So the Jerry's really helped us and these goblins are just helping us like crazy. It definitely is a really great way to make money when you're starting off and you have enough like I guess swords or something like that or armor to kill them because we made so much money. There's a time where we actually had $100,000 in our purse. We actually had 100,000 100, coins in our purse and uh, we brought it over to the banker, put it in the bank and bam, extra 100,000. So it's pretty crazy how fast the coins add up and it's definitely worth it. And there you have it guys. We got ourselves a full wise goblin set here. We're gonna cut back here when we're in the mines and we're gonna test out our new pickaxe with efficiency five and with all the extra enchants on it. And we'll see how much faster we will be able to break that mithril. Let's see how fast this pickaxe really is. Let's try the core here. Bam, that is actually so fast. It feels like we're mining the wool right now, which is beside me. Let's try the wool real quick. Oh, my pet just uh, disturbed it and I'm lagging, the server's lagging. Okay, yeah, it's so much faster, guys. Look at this. Wow. So this will help us a lot for the next tier in our collections here, which is trying to get that pet, that golem pet. So we're going to try really hard to do that. Okay, so we're continue here working on our commissions. As you can see, I'm 30% of the way to get my titanium one completed. That's another step forward to tier three of the heart of the mountain. So I've just been mining here, trying to complete my commission. As you can see, it is 65% completed. Now, we've just been grinding along here. We've been also participating in a lot of events. And I do have to say, we could just keep going and just keep completing events. You know, you know what? We do have to call it here for the episode because there's just too much going on and uh, we have to make an episode. So we have to start editing. But as you can see, we have completed our pickaxe. So we have our goblin set here as well. And now we can finally go ahead and just improve our speed mining. As you can see, you got Death Streaks behind us and Zach. Now, Death Streaks is actually one of the guys on the server here that is crazy high in dungeons and also is crazy high here in the. Uh, Dwarven Mines. Dwarven so he's mines. actually been, I believe, up almost over 38 hours trying to reach tier 5 on the Heart of the Mountain, which is insane. Oh, look, everyone's joining the outro. I believe Zach also interviewed Death Street about this grind. He's been doing the 38 hour grind to reach to tier 5 of the mountain. All right, so that's the end of the video. And be sure to join the code, subscribe, and of course, comment down below your thoughts of the new update and what you guys have completed so far if you do have an Iron Man profile.